the Aramaic and Palestinian Targum. This is Numbers chapter 36. In the heads of the fathers of the family of the Beni Gilad, the Makir, the Manasseh, even the family of the Beni Gilad, the Joseph, came to the house of judgment and spake with Moshe and the princes, the chief fathers of the Beni Israel, and said, The Lord commanded Rabbi to give the land and inheritance by lot to the children of Israel. And Rabbi Oni was commanded before the Lord to give the inheritance to our brother, Zila Fahad, to his daughters. But if these marry into any of the tribes of the children of Israel, their inheritance will be withdrawn from that of our fathers and will be added to the inheritance of the tribe which will have become theirs, and our lot will be diminished. And at the jubilee of the Beni Israel, their inheritance will be added to that of their tribe in which they will be, and their possession will have been withdrawn from the inheritance of our father's tribe. Then Moshe commanded the children of Israel by the word of the Lord, saying, the tribe of the Beni Joseph have said well. This is the thing which the Lord hath commanded, not for the generations that shall arise after the division of the land, but for the daughters of Zelophehad, saying, They may be the wives of them who are proper in their eyes. Only such must be of the families of their father's tribe that the inheritance of the children of Israel may not pass about from one tribe to another. For the children of Israel shall every one keep to the inheritance of their father's tribe. As the Lord commanded Moshe, so did the daughters of Zili Hephalad and Mahalah, Thiraz, Hogalad, Milchaha, and Noha, the daughter of Zelophilad, became wives of the sons of their kindred, of the family of the children of Manasseh bar Joseph, were their wives, were they wives, and their inheritance was with the tribe of their father's family. These are the commandments and orders and judgments which the Lord commanded the children of Israel by Moshe in the plains of Moab, by the Jordan, near Jericho. This is the end of the reading. But I just want to, in case people wondering who these daughters were and why this has been written, you may uh, recall back in Numbers uh, 9 and 10, I believe, that um, these women came to Moshe saying that their father only had daughters and if it's for the boys to inherit well who does the father's inheritance go to and can they have it because they are the offspring so what Moses has done is he sought from the word of the Lord and he said that they can have their father's inheritance but providing they marry within the tribe of their father which is the tribe of Joseph or Manasseh so this is what they did do. They they married, they were wives um, in that tribe so that the inheritance remained in the family. And it just shows the importance that the Lord has kept them separate. And right through time into revelations, you know, the the New Jerusalem that comes down has the names of all the tribes. So we don't really know who's in what tribe, but he knows. And um, yeah, it's um, important to him that we don't race mix, that we keep our bloodline pure. But it doesn't seem to be the way of the world in this day and age that we live in. 
Yeah, it's interesting. Anyway, praise his holy name, Yahuwah.